Hi everyone, I'm doing a video on how to finish a needlepoint um, canvas into this square tray by Sudbury House. Um, the tray is kind of interesting. It comes, um, it already tells you you have a nine and a half uh, visible design area and has mounting instructions and it comes like a picture frame. So literally you turn it over and you just pull, you know, this off. Obviously <laughs> I had it unscrewed already, the little, the little mounting things. Um, and they give you a piece of paper, or um, it's actually a cardboard piece behind it. And it also comes with this, uh, this thing in it, which shows, the thickness of it shows that you, you can easily fit a needlepoint in this, not like a normal picture frame. Um, and I'm gonna take this out, the uh, instructions. So then it's just a piece of glass. Um, so here are the steps that we're going to, gonna do here lay that down. So I have my needlepoint. Um, the first thing I notice is that my needlepoint is not, not nine and a half inch square. So I have to have a nice backing because we're going to, we're going to basically fold these in on top of some mat board. And then it's just going to sit on this, uh, on this piece of paper. So the first things you need to do is get some scrapbooking paper that you like the look of or you know whatever it could be wallpaper but they have them in sheets at uh, the craft store so if you grab some of that you are going to glue it to the um the what do you want to call this the mat board that comes with the project we have two mat boards we're dealing with the one that comes with the frame and the one you're going to cut that's the right size for your needlepoint canvas so step one would be to glue or you could literally if you don't want to glue it you could probably just double stick tape it if you were really gonna <laughs> take the lazy route which sometimes is the right route to take i glued it so i've already glued mine but i'm going to show you what i used i used yes glue which is always the absolute best glue to use with paper any paper projects because it uh, you paint it on you can paint it on with one of these or one of those foam guys um it's very simple it's just like putting wallpaper on and the, it never um, gets the moisture of the glue in the paper. So, so something magical about it, but I, I use it to doll paper or to wallpaper doll houses um, because it's just the best. So yes, glue and a, and, a, and a brush. And I basically just took my big piece. I, of course, bought two pieces of this because I was worried <laughs> that I was going to mess it up. So I took my big piece of paper. I just laid this down, took my um, X-Acto knife, and just cut like that and glued the piece of paper on. So very simple. You don't even have to do the fancy gluing if you don't want to. Um, once you've done that, then you want to measure your needlepoint canvas. Um, we basically want one line of stitching to, to roll over the outside, the, the, the very edge line of stitching, which is almost an eighth of an inch. So if you cut your piece of mat board, and I want you to use the right mat board. So I'm gonna show you which one to use, and it's also gonna be in the description, that little triangle below the video. You must use Canson um, artboard, and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a link in the description. It's um, if you use the wrong one, your hot glue is not going to adhere and you're gonna have a hot mess, so that's not good. Um, so you're gonna make sure that you use the right mat board, and it's, it's tough enough, it's actually really tough, it's actually really hard to cut, unfortunately. I used um, a ruler, and um, I literally sat there and like scored it like three times, and then I, I had to score it once from the back, because it is really tough stuff, but it's, it's the perfect thing, I use it for needlepoint ornaments, it's the perfect thing to, use with your needlepoint and it's acid free. It's gonna not gonna hurt your needlepoint over time and all that. So basically, now that we have our back piece done and you have your needle, oh no, uh, I wanna tell you about cutting. You've had your mat board cut. Now you have to cut your, um, your needlepoint. Leave yourself 5 eighths of an inch, half an inch. You could even leave yourself a quarter inch. You really don't need a lot. It's just to wrap it around and glue it. You're just gonna be wrapping it around here and gluing it to the back. Um, but when you get to the edges, it's really important on a square to cut it all the way up. Um, 
to the that's the that's my first stitch and I'm gonna cut it all the way up to the first stitch because when we wrap it around the corner we want to have a really nice wrap on the corner and we don't want to see any canvas if we totally mess this up <laughs> and we see canvas after we've wrapped it and glued it we could easily put some cording around it and I have a, a video that's like how to do really fast cording with a power drill and a cup hook so you could uh, you could watch that but basically we could cord it I don't really want to cord it because it's just extra work um, so I'm hoping it kind of turns out how I plan it <laughs> how I plan it turning out so uh, we are gonna glue um, glue this on now I made an arrow because mine is um, not an even square it's a it's not it's a sort of a rectangle so I actually um, made a mark of what's the top because I don't want to mess that up so basically I'm gonna turn this over and oh, is this the top of my yeah that's the top of my work okay I'm gonna lay this down and we're gonna glue it that's that's happening what I do for gluing is I have this oh. okay I have this uh, silicone baking mat and I cut the corner off of it and I use the corner to, to be able to touch the hot glue without burning my hand so got your silicone baking mat I know so it seems like a lot of um, things that you have to have you also I didn't mention need scissors to cut your canvas obviously um, when I'm about to hot glue I've got my silicone tray or not tray silicone baking mat this little corner and I've also got a, a few other random tools because sometimes I just need a random tiny tiny pair of scissors to cut one little bit of the canvas or I need like a little plier to grab something with or like a tweezer or something to poke with um I just have these on hand I'm not necessary I'm definitely going to use this but I'm not necessarily going to use all those crazy things they're just here in for an emergency um, let me make sure that this is taping. <laughs> I don't want to do this whole thing and be like, oops, I didn't. Yeah, we're seven minutes in. Okay, it's taping. Good. You never know, right? Okay, here we go. So we get our hot glue and we'll do, I guess we'll do kind of a corner first. It's just a dab of hot glue. We've got our little pressy thing and we're going to start right here and just sort of press in you know what would have been smarter <laughs> now that i think of it to just fold this and give it give it some give it a little fold before we do it you know what i mean because then it's going to be easy to kind of bring up onto where we want it if we've kind of given it already some some fold let's see let's actually see how that looks that would be smart too um okay it looks like it's pulling in nicely and not showing much or any of the canvas hopefully i guess you never know but you're going to learn from my my mistakes so that'll be nice <laughs> and then you'll uh be, oh i hope my head's not okay i don't think my head's blocking the video um, well, it looks pretty good. We're going to just go for it and we'll see what we see, right? This hot glue does come, come off. If I needed to get this hot glue off, I could hold this little thing to it and the heat will let it up. So this is not permanent, you know, don't, don't freak out. Um, okay. So I'm going to put my little guy, uh, he has a name I've now forgotten. I'm sort of, uh, there's a name that people call him but whatever and I have paint on my hands that's not some weird disease oh I hope my head's not in the way here there's that I'm just I, I guess I'm gonna do three three glue balls um on each of these sections here and that'll also make it easier for me to pull it up if I needed to hopefully I won't need to but you never know um okay so that folded in nicely, nice edge, and we don't see any of the uh, canvas. Oops, we have a little bit of glue here. It's not optimal, but okay. 
Now that we've done that, we're actually going to do the bottom so that we're pulling kind of opposite. I want to, I just did the top and now I'm going to do the bottom. So I'm going to do, you know what? I'm going to put, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'll do one dot at a time. It'll be nice and neat. One dot. You really don't need a ton of this glue. So pull, give it a nice pull and, and then hold. That'll work. We shall see. Give it a pull. And hold. Just make sure you don't touch the glue. I mean, this is a low, um, I'll also put uh, this, whoops, in the description, like what this is, but it's basically a $13 mini glue gun that does, it's low. It's not, um, wait, was it low? Can't remember I bought it like a year ago Let's see. Chandler tools um, t1607 glue gun anyway I'll put the description in there it's nice it's not uh, it's not gonna like burn your hand off if you accidentally touch something okay ooh nice huh. top and bottom works nicely let's hope for the best for the sides <laughs> let's see that side looks like it already has has it a little bit toward it Maybe I'm funky, I don't know. I'm gonna do this side, but I'm gonna pull really hard here because I don't want any canvas showing. Oh no, canvas is gonna show. Eh, grumble. It's not gonna show up here though. And it's definitely not gonna show over here. Okay, all's well except for this bottom corner. What can we do? Well, we can just pull. Canvas stretches and it's just like fabric. So I'm just gonna give it a good pull and uh, we'll see what we see. Mm, better, but it's still not good. Darn it. Um, oh, I don't want to have to do a cording. <laughs> but I will. Oh, you know what? Cording would actually look really good. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, fine. I'll do a cording. <sighs> well, it's the way the cookie crumbles. One last pull. Okay, all's well. Carry on. Oops, get your little guy. Give it a good pull. touched it for a second with my finger, but it didn't kill me. So it's not, it's not rocket science. And there's always things you can do if you good. I could actually paint that if I was really lazy, but I would definitely nip this little bit off because he's annoying. Anyway, all's well. Do this side. And we don't have to pull much on this side because I, uh, see how well this, I don't know if, you, well, you can see, um, this hot glue is really sticking to this canvas and mat board really nicely. Yeah, I bought a mat board that did not work out. I mentioned it in, in my ornament video, how irritating it was. I sat there trying to hot glue this thing and it just kept coming up and I thought, what's wrong with my glue gun? You know, I couldn't figure out what was happening. Okay. So once we've done this stage, I did bring um, bring over two glues that I'm deciding on uh, between for, so this is not bad. 
I mean, I don't really want this white bit here, but I'm gonna nip that off and um, gonna nip this off. I mean, it's already glued on, so it's not really going anywhere. Although, I do like to touch the corner with a little tacky glue, Aileen's tacky glue, just on the corner, because it'll it's kind of like I'm um, going to make it like a fray check where it won't, you know, the little edge. Will, I mean, this is going inside a tray, so it's not like people are going to be mucking around with it. Um, so I will... I will be touching the corners with some, with some glue. Okay, so we've got this. And we've got this. We're looking good. Hmm. Nice. Anyway, um, so basically the last step of the process, I might still, of course, put some cording around this because it looks a little janky. But... If you did yours right and cut your board slightly smaller, um, I did one eighth of an inch smaller, but maybe it needed just another hair. I mean, it's really like not, it's like, I don't know, a tiny measurement. Anyway, I was thinking of for this part, just literally using tack it over and over because it's totally repositionable. You could literally, this could be your, your thing and then like in a year if you got bored of looking at this inside your tray you could you could just pull it up and put another one down if you use this tack it over and over um the tacky glue is fantastic but it it it's uh gonna be permanent well not permanent i mean any glue is only as strong as you you know you can pull against it and probably pull it off but um anyway that is that and then basically obviously i'm gonna just walk you through the end of this, even though you probably don't need me to. This is the glass. I am gonna clean the glass. And then I'm gonna put, um, you know, yeah, the glass definitely needs to be cleaned. Ay, ay, ay. Um, I'm gonna evenly, hopefully, <laughs> put that in there. Um, and then take the backing, that little piece of, um, grab it, that piece of um, this stuff, you know, go in, up in the back. Um, and lock it in and then I'm gonna have this adorable tray for um, stuff and it wasn't you know it wasn't too hard <laughs> although I didn't you know I am sorry anyway thanks for watching um, subscribe if you'd like I often try to share any tips I find on a needlepoint finishing because I like to try to finish most of my own stuff I don't always I mean, I'm not going to finish stockings currently <laughs> or um, pillows, but ornaments and frames and things like that. Um, I know this is sitting unevenly, so I hope this is not bothering you that it's, well, anyway, you get the, you get the picture. Um, anyway, subscribe, like, feel free to uh, comment. I do, I do um, answer my comments. So if you have a question, um, just comment uh, your question and I will answer it. Okay. Thanks so much. Bye. Have good uh, needlepoint finishing. <laughs>